A startling start to the week when an earthquake warning system woke millions out of a sound sleep. The shake alert system has only been up and running for roughly three years now. California is one of three states using the early earthquake warning system. And CBS 13's Marley Ginter is getting answers on how it works. Earthquake. Drop cover. Hold on. That's the warning more than 3 million people heard in the middle of the night when a 6.4 earthquake rocked Northern California. The shake alert system rattled people awake when seismometers sensed movement, triggering an alert. The part where you do the detection in the field to where it gets processed and where this shake alert message is produced, that happens in, in a few seconds. So probably somewhere in the order of five seconds. That's pretty darn fast. But how much warning did people get after that? And was it successful? I went to the U.S. You know, Geological right. Survey to get answers. Some yeah. said they were confused. Others said they didn't really understand what the alert was about. Did the system work the way it's intended to work? It, it's working the way it was intended to work. It's working exactly as it should work. Operations coordinator Robert DeGroote says some received the alert seconds before they started feeling a rumble. Others got the warning and never felt anything at all. But considering its size, it had potential to impact a widespread area. And he says a full scale warning was critical. It's two o'clock in the morning. They have a 10 second warning. Is 10 seconds enough? Well, and 10 seconds is kind of an average that we talk about, but, you know, the further you are away from the epicenter, then the longer that warning could be. Cal OES spokesperson Brian May says he's seen 30-second warnings or longer. Either way, every second counts. Drop cover, hold on. The goal is just when you hear that alert, and listen, I don't know about you, Marley, but I got it at home at 2.30 in the morning, and it woke me out of a sound sleep. All right, so it's one thing to have the app, but you have to make sure your notifications are turned on in the app, which is free for Apple and Android.